Welcome back everyone. I'll be showing you my aloe vera hydrating shampoo. I made this shampoo with nourishing ingredients that will not uh, leave your hair stripped. Um, it's going to leave your hair very, very moisturized. I'm going to show you step by step how I make this shampoo. So uh, let's jump right in. And if this is your first time stopping by, my name is Esther and I make DIY natural hair and skincare videos and I have so many other helpful DIY videos so please check those out. As always, all the ingredients will be listed in the description box along with the measurements. So please check the description box. Also, I will have the links uh, listed there as well um, where I purchase uh, my ingredients. I'm getting started with aloe vera powder. This is great for moisturizing your hair and also removing excess oil from your scalp. I am also using some honey powder. You can use raw honey as well. Honey is antibacterial and anti-inflammatory. I'm going to grab my jar and I'm going to put my honey powder and aloe vera powder and then I'm going to add some warm distilled water. I'm going to add in my aloe vera juice and I'm going to mix it all in very well. Take your time to mix because you're going to have uh, tiny clumps of your aloe vera uh, powder and the honey powder. So just take your time and mix it all very well. Next, I'm adding some apple cider vinegar, but you can leave it out if your um, hair or scalp is sensitive to it. And then I'm going to add my aloe vera gel. I'm using processed aloe vera gel because the fresh aloe vera gel does not last very long. Um, but if you decide to use it, just realize that your shampoo will not last more than a week or two. So now that I have my water-based ingredients combined, I'm just going to set this aside and I'm going to be using several oils for this recipe. I'm using olive oil, castor oil. You can use any combination of oils. These oils are amazing for strengthening your hair. It's good for dry scalp, moisturizing your hair, but you can use any oils that you like. I'm also using some Moringa infused oil. I will leave a link in the description box showing how I made this oil. So with these two oils, I'm going to add that into my uh, surfactants um, next. I'm going to be using a combination of castile soap and my uh, surfactant. This is very gentle on your hair. It's not um, harsh or stripping. And then I'm also using a CAPD because I cannot pronounce that word, uh, but it's a very gentle surfactant as well. So I'm just going to combine both of them together and I'm going to mix that in. So when mixing, you want to be very, very gentle so you don't activate um, lather and bubbles. So when you mix it in, it's also going to thicken up uh, slightly because uh, the surfactant acts as an emulsifier and thickener. So now I'm going to add that into my water mix. I switched over to my whisk and I continued mixing until everything was well blended. After mixing for about a minute or so, this is what the consistency looked like. It was a, a slightly thick, creamy uh, texture. Um, so at this point, if you're okay with this consistency, you don't need to add any other thickener. 
I forgot to add my essential oils and vitamin E oil when I added my um, oils to my surfactants. So I'm doing that now. So once you add that in, just mix very well and just um, get that well combined. And then I'm going to add some xanthan gum and vegetable glycerin. I had this mixed earlier on, so it's well hydrated. So I'm just going to add that in to thicken up my mixture. I went ahead to check the pH and also balance the pH of this shampoo using citric acid. I also wanted to mention that I'm having an online skincare course that starts on June 19th. Everything is completely online. It's going to be very, very detailed. I'll leave the link in the description box if you want to register. And this is what the consistency of my shampoo is looking like. It's a nice creamy consistency. So this recipe made 16 ounces of product. I'm going to package this up and I'm going to show you what the ladder looks like. Uh, the shelf life is up to nine months um, with this shampoo. You want to store in a cool, dry place. So this is a very moisturizing and non-stripping shampoo that's going to leave your hair very hydrated when you use it. So I hope you try out this recipe. Let me know how it goes and you can always reach out to me in the comments with your questions and I also have a patreon page um, I'll leave the link in the description box as well um, that's a great way to support me and also if you're needing extra support yourself with your recipes or your formulating questions I'll also have a monthly Q&A session where you can ask me all your formulating questions as well so please check out that link it's going to be a great online Online community um, resource as well so please don't forget to subscribe if you've not yet subscribed and also turn on your notifications so you don't miss any of my videos and also please like this video because that really helps me out and I'll see you in the next video bye